Hey family, reflecting on uh, the book of Exodus and um, our Instagram handle is uh, Exodus 917, which says, uh, Moses says to Pharaoh, the Lord says to Pharaoh, you know, you still refuse to let my people go. Um, And we're not free as long as there are so many people in our prisons caged and uh, stripped of their civil and human rights. Those of us who are not in the cage or who have not been in the cage are not free. This is a threat to our Society is a threat to future generations. Uh, women, we do not carry babies for nine months to have a oppressive system rip them from us for punishment, which we know doesn't work. Um, the criminal psychologists tell us that punishment is not the way to solve uh, anything. Punishment is man-made. Correction is divine. And correction doesn't occur by beating someone mercilessly or verbally abusing them or neglecting their needs or dismissing their uh, struggles or their feelings. Correction comes through love. And so don't let this happen on your watch. Do something for future generations. Take the day off on October 12th and meet us in front of the White House, 11 a.m. to four to, to uh, 6 p.m., 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Meet us there and, um, and sacrifice uh, to, 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 to caravan and to get a bus there and give a public outcry for a massive release of nonviolent and overcharged persons. Uh, Kind-hearted Dana Stevens will be there, and he's right. Um, we're witnessing the same spirit of destruction and death that we see uh, went out in the land of um, Egypt in the Iron Age, where Pharaoh asked the midwives to destroy the boys. And then when the midwives disobeyed, he issued the command to everyone to destroy the Hebrew boys. And in our case, it extends to poor people in general uh, and minorities, people of color in general. And so, what a shame it is if we can continue about our daily duties uh, as if this is not happening, as if this slaughter is not occurring right in our faces, as if right now people's children are not, and I mean adult children and youth are not, we, we can't live and go about our daily task washing dishes, watching Oprah, playing golf, uh, going to our club meetings as if this is not happening. That's criminal. So, a lot of good volunteers have put energy and time into, into making this happen. And it's just not going to work if the community doesn't show up. And so we're headed to D.C. next week to mobilize and work with various groups in Washington. And you'll hear more about that. But right now, I'm just asking that you mark your calendar for October 12th. Take the day off and be in front of the White House with us. Uh, I'm here today because the Lord spoke to me in 1989 and said, deliver those headed to the slaughter. In Proverbs 24, 10 through 12, it reads, uh, don't fate in the day of adversity because your strength is small. Instead, deliver those headed to the slaughter. Rescue those taken away to death. Don't say you didn't know and don't say you didn't see it. 
because God knows you know, and God will weigh your hearts and judge you according to your deeds. That's Proverbs 24, 10 through 12. See you on October 12th.